going hiking in the Dry Creek Trail area, starting here because of the water bars on the road. Here's an example of one of the extreme water bars that I can't get over in a car. Even the Jeep would hit going through this, so not going to try it in a Saturn. It's a little bit warm, Sage is down there having a drink. Took a while to figure out how to get down there without me. Still haven't made it to the trail, but at least the road's getting level. I think we're getting close to the trail. But even actually the official start of the trail is still just more road. You have to go a long ways to get to where the actual trail still exists. This turn off here is how you get to the Dry Creek Trail now. I can see the sign up ahead. That road there will take you up to Mount Tebow and they were threatening to decommission it, which made me very unhappy. But I think maybe they forgot to do it, which would be great. A uh, gray SUV went by. I ran into the woods and hid. Hid. I always hide when I'm walking on a road and a car comes. Why take chances? Why take chances? Although if I ever have a ranger coming down the road and I do that and they see me, then I guess they'll probably think it's suspicious and cause me all kinds of trouble. Oh well. Here it is. This old road here is now called the Dry Creek Trail. Don't know if it gets any maintenance at all. Most people don't know that this trail is way more than just that little stub that you take out a staircase and then turn around at the creek crossing. This road slash trail was decommissioned, but not savagely so. So it's actually a pleasant walk, but it is gonna need some trail maintenance towards the middle. They decommissioned it by taking out some of the bridges. They didn't come and put it all at a horrific slant and cut down all the trees and line it with root balls. There's footprints here. Human. Hope I can... Oh, I'd like to keep my feet dry. I'm really just starting my hike. I think there's maybe some deer tracks here to horse. This was Labar Creek. This is a funny one. Unless there's no water in it at all, don't ever try to cross Labar Creek without getting your feet wet. The rocks are so slippery that it just can't be done. Took my shoes off and crossed Labar Creek. Now I'm about a quarter mile or more past the creek. Sun's out, so wearing socks over my burnt arms. A strange thing, parsnip burn.